myself R D Mahajan, Assistant Professor MIT Aurangabad, uh, presenting my next video on the topic uh, Fourier transform, uh, Fourier integral representation. Example number one: Find f of x satisfying following integral equation. Integration from zero to infinity. F of x into cos of lambda x dx is equals to e raised to minus lambda for the condition lambda greater than or equals to zero. Uh, solution: As this integral contains cosine term cos of lambda x, we require to obtain Fourier cosine transform, uh, which is given by f c lambda is equals to root two by pi. Integration from zero to infinity, f of u, cos of lambda u du. A definite integral does not depend upon the variable. I can replace u by x. Therefore, uh, this integration or this integral I can write down as integration from zero to infinity, f of x, cos of lambda x dx, and that is equals to root two by pi. And as per the given, its value is e raised to minus lambda. Uh, we call this as equation one. And then after finding this Fourier cosine transform, we try to find f x by using formula of inverse Fourier transform. Using inverse Fourier cosine transform, uh, that uh, result is given by f of x small f x is equals to Integration, sorry, root two by pi. Integration from zero to infinity. Value of f c lambda, whatever we have obtained in equation one, into cos of lambda x d lambda. Okay, and therefore. Uh, it is root two by pi. Integration from zero to infinity. The value of f c lambda. The value of f c lambda is here. Root two by pi into e raised to minus lambda into cos of Lambda x d lambda, and therefore it becomes this root into root we get it is equals to the for that f of x is equals to uh, root into root we get two by pi integration from zero to Infinity e raised to minus lambda into cos of lambda x d lambda. And then using standard result, uh, that integration from zero to infinity of e raised to x cos of b x and its integration with respect to x is. E raised to x divided by a square plus b square a cos b x plus b sine of b x. Uh, we have to apply this result, and to apply this, uh, comparing these two results, here we have uh, x minus lambda. A coefficient of x in this term, coefficient of lambda minus one, 
cos of bx coefficient of x is here b therefore coefficient of lambda as x there and therefore that fx becomes 2 by pi uh, e raised to x first term therefore here it is e raised to minus lambda divided by a square plus b square a minus 1 square is 1 b square x square multiplied by a cos bx the value of a is minus 1 into cos of lambda x plus b b is x sine of lambda x bracket close and limit from 0 to infinity and therefore it is equals to therefore f of x is equals to we have 2 by pi Uh, when we substitute the upper limit for uh, lambda as infinity, e raised to minus infinity, e raised to minus infinity is 0, 0 into anything is we get 0, minus lower limit e raised to 0 as 1 divided by 1 plus x square multiplied by cos 0, cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0. And therefore, we have required f of x as minus minus it becomes plus. Therefore, it is 2 by pi multiplied by 1 upon 1 plus x square as the required f x or required answer. Okay. Therefore, once again, I will repeat in short, uh, we had to perform in two parts. First, try to get Fourier cosine transform. And whatever that value, put it in inverse Fourier transform result to obtain this f of x. Uh, important one is here, the standard result to determine this integral.